I don't know. Was that your event card that was drawn? No, that was the one that I drew. So it is your turn, the start of your turn. Yes. Uh, so you can move or attack. Are you going to attack? I guess I should probably attack to kind of get him out of there, right? Well, you, you got to get the skeleton out of the way first because you can't attack the terror. Oh, so now I got to attack your skeleton? Yep. All right. So he has an AC of 15. Now, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think you have to have line of sight to be able to attack. And you don't have line of sight to the terror folk, you because the skeleton is standing in front. Okay. So I guess I'll use that poisonous dirt. Yep, so uh, roll around here if you can. 15. Does oh. that really count as a roll? Like yes, it, it don't matter. You rolled it. It, it rolled in your so hand. So it's a 15 and poison darts of 6. So you did one damage to that skeleton. And guess what? He does not block it. So he takes one damage. Okay. So you can move now or you can stay where you were. I can't perform a another attack against him? No, you can only attack once per turn. You can oh. only move, you can move, the only thing you can do twice on it's, your turn is move. move. Yeah. Okay, you can and, move or, and perform one of the following. And you you can't uh, go and do an explore action because you it's blocking you. You can't move through enemies. Oh. So either way, you're gonna have an encounter card. So I think you should probably just stay there. All right. That's just my, you think about it? Uh, no, that's, that's probably. Yeah, I'll just stay where I am. You're gonna stay where you are? Yeah. Alright. Okay. So now. Now it's the. Uh, encounter. So, read away. Okay. Here we go. Traps reset. You hear some clicks and rattles off in the darkness for a moment. You could have sworn you just saw a pale white dwarf as well. Shuffle up the discarded trap tokens and place them face down on each other, on down on each trap space on the board that contains neither a trap nor a figure. Okay, so there's no trap token, so we're good. We're good. So that just gets discarded. Goodbye, bad encounter card. Yep. And now it's on to the villain face for you, and it's going to be your terror folk that is going to attack. Awesome. So what does? The terror folk say the first thing. Uh, if the terror folk is in one tile of the hero, attacks the closest hero within one tile of with a die attack. Okay, so he's going to attack you. He's not going to attack me because you were the closest hero one tile away. Yep. So he's going to do a dive and attack you. Better make it a low one. And what his? It's a plus eight. Yeah. With two damage. Yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. 13. Ow. Um, shall I? I'll just turn these over. That one and that one. Yeah, so you got one health left. Yep. <sighs> yep. Okay. Uh, and then what else Can't does it do? Can't you roll like me? What else does it say? Can't you roll like me and have crappy rolls? But no. On a roll of 18 or higher, it didn't, didn't, actually it did get higher than 18. I have nothing for him to steal. Though. Okay, so you're fine. Yeah. Okay, so it's on to my turn. You have to fight them, don't you? Yes, I do. And luckily I have my, because I'm a paladin, I have the ability to attack two Jason monsters to me at the same time. Okay, but you don't have to attack this, the... Terrafolk because he's not your monster controlling him. But I, I can still attack him because he's there. Okay, but you need to attack that skeleton. He only needs one point right. of damage. So Terrafolk is a reptile. So that yeah. wouldn't work there. Okay, I'm going to use Swift Strike. It says attack one adjacent monster, then attack one adjacent monster. And it's mm -hmm. a four plus. Or actually, that's a really low. That is. So yeah, no, I, I'm going to use my Holy Avenger. Um, attack one adjacent monster. But see, if I do that, then I'm only going to kill the skeleton. But then on the villain face, he's not going to attack me because, uh, yeah, I have to do the skeleton regardless. So I'm going to use my Holy Avenger. And 
It's a nine plus whatever my attack is. And it's plus one damage to undead, demon, or devils. He is undead. So I got a 14 plus nine. I definitely went over his AC of 15. So I have killed him. And you get a treasure card. Goodbye. And a treasure card I do get. Pouch of copper, 100 gold. I got like a yeah, yeah, one, yeah. One, two, five, six hundred, six hundred copper or gold. Really? Yeah. Money, 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 money. Really? Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, hey, get away! Don't you be. This is. I, I'm oh, is it, 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 it was what? It's what? I'm gonna share it with oh, you. Oh, you might share yeah, it with me. Yeah, but now if you're stealing, I don't know. Oh. So I attacked, killed, so now I'm going to move. One, two, and I can do my explore. Um. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, there's gonna be a monster on almost every one. Yeah, but there's also Oh, there's uh, a black, black encounter, encounter card. So that goes like that, and we got a monster there. What kind of monster it is? Oh, a Zorbo. These things are a pain in the rear end. This looks like a cute little teddy bear, but it's not cute by no means. It's a Halloween teddy bear. Oh, he's not cute. Here he goes. Oh, and claws that hero. Yeah. He's not cute at all. So. I spawned that and I have to do an encounter card. Here's your monster, Thanks. alien child. Um, Teddy bear. Constrictor weed. <laughs> your hero becomes stunned. Great, so now I get a stun token. And stun means that you can't move. You don't seem to be leaving that tile. You have to adjust. Mm -hmm. I can't leave the tile anyhow until we kill the last monster on it. Yep. No matter what the monster is. Yep. All right. Okay, now it's villain phase. And this cute little teddy bear is going to attack me. If the, the Zorbo is within one tile here, which it is, it moves to Jason to the closest hero and claws that hero. Leave my stuff alone. <laughs> She's trying to steal my gold. That's not. She's trying to hold your hand. So, you are going to roll the die. Twelve plus six is eighteen. And I got an armor cast class of seventeen, so you did hit me. Sorry. So, no, that, that's fine. And it's a special ability. On the roll of an 18, because you got what? 18. 18. 18 or higher. The Zorro also damages one of the heroes, destroys one of the heroes' items. The hero must choose and discard one item. Oh, I'm going to give up one of your 100 gold coins. Yeah, I'll get rid of one of my 100 gold coins. Oh, well. Fine. You're dead next time, football. Okay. Now is it my turn now? That was the villain phase. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it is your turn. Um. So I would attack your terror folk. Okay. Um. So use something that is you remember my you got darts. disadvantage. Yeah. So I have to use my dart. And it goes far enough, goes far enough, because, yeah, nothing else will work. So we're going to attack with My your dirt. poison darts? Yeah. Okay. 50, oh, you definitely damaged that freaking, freaking terror folk. So that's one damage, and he gets disadvantage, because it says that if you roll higher than 18, Um, they okay, get, but is, I'm making an attack, right? Yes. So I have to roll the dice twice. Oh, because you had to, yes, go ahead, roll it again. I totally forgot, I had disadvantage. 
Oh, so. it, it don't matter. Yeah. You totally... And, you know, this disadvantage has gone off of your card. Okay. So that was your attack, and now you can move if you want, or you can stay there. I'll just stay there. Well, I would say that you should at least move up one square, because if you stay there, he's going to yeah, constantly be able to do diving yeah, attacks. I don't think I, I can't... Can I, I can't move into that square. Oh, yes, that's right, until the monsters are dead. That's right. Oh, so you had, you're had stuck I, there. Yeah, as much as you're stuck there, I'm stuck uh, there. Okay, so now we have to do uh, an encounter card because you can't do anything else. So grab your encounter card there, shall we? What is it? I don't like that smile. <gasps> All right. Ambush. This is going to hurt. Okay. <coughs> Choose the hero with the fewest hit points remaining. Okay. <laughs> Place a new monster on that hero's tile adjacent to that hero. Um, you got the monster on my tile. No, not on your tile. Uh, yeah. Read that. Read it again. With the lowest, the fewest hit points remaining. Oh, the fewest hit points. Rem oh, oh, I thought it was. Yeah, ooh, no. Yeah, you're getting. Uh, oh, I get a. I get. So grab a monster, monster card. This is a zombie animal thingy. Oh, a gorilla, a grillion zombie. Them guys are really tough. Uh, yeah. I just gotta find this Grillion zombie. Because he's just one scary. Um, do we have the Grillion zombie? Mm -hmm. You got the list there. Yeah. I'm trying to find Pass it. me the sheet. Oh, Grillion. Oh, so it's just a Grillion zombie. Yeah. So we use the Grillion, which is the uh, this one. This is the miniature for the boss too. So look at that, Charlie. Wow. <laughs> you in trouble? If the Grillion zombie is in one tile of the hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and punches that hero twice. Okay, but remember, this is the ambush. Okay, so that don't happen yet. Otherwise, you're going to use on top of it. Because you, this is the encounter phase. You drew an encounter card, and I told you to do that. So now, uh, what you have to do... So that comes over there. So now what do I have to do? Now it is the villain phase, and you control two villains. Yeah, I control both So the, the terror folk is going first. Yep. So I will grab the dice here. Roll gently. Uh, I'll, I'll certainly try. So Roll this terrifying is gently. going to do a, a dive bomb on you. 18 is not a gentle thing. It uh, hit you for two damage. I did. So what happens is you lay down. Okay. This healing surge is going to be gone, but it's not gone yet. So you're, you're done. So you can just flip all of these back over. Okay. So that just healed me? Yes. Okay. Actually, I should only be flipping all but one over because he hit me for two, right? Right. So but I should but still... as soon as you hit, get hit, and you get all the rest on count. Oh, okay. So because of this, now you used a healing surge. It's four hit points. So you only see, healed up to four. So you still got four left. <laughs> yeah. But the good thing about this is you're still done your turn because you use the healing surge on your next turn because okay. right now they just dropped you. And okay. he would attack you, but you're down. Okay. So what does it say? If the girl, the Grillion zombie is within one tile. Uh, if it's in within one tile, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and punches the hero twice. So... You're down, so he's not going to bother you. He's going to go this way. And he's going to punch me twice. Uh, his special ability is Rend. 
If both of the goon zombies' punches hit the same hero, it also runs that hero. Punch is plus five and damage is two, and a rend is plus seven and a damage of two. Okay. So, uh, you gotta roll, Shelly. Please roll gently. So, 16 plus. For this one? Yeah. Is it the punch? What, what does it say? Because we're doing moves the punch. adjacent to the closest hero and punches that hero twice. twice. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be a punch twice. So the first one hits me for two damage. We got to roll it again. Two. Okay, don't do anything. But what does it say about the special ability? Rend. If both of the brilliant. Brilliant zombies punches hit the same hero, it also rends that hero. Attack punches plus five and rend is plus seven. But what's it saying what rend is? I just read it. Can you pass me the rule book? No, like to explain what. Yeah, well, here, I'll find it. Yeah, to see what rend is, because I've never come across that before. I don't know. No. I have no idea. If anybody knows what this rend means, please let us know in the comments below. I, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference because I think we're going to be pretty, pretty. Uh, I'm going to be dead soon. In dire place. straits. I'm going to be dead soon too. Uh, no, you still get to go up a level thingy. You're, don't you get to use that surge thingy? No, 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 because. The next, if I get knocked down and it's your next turn, you get to use the surge, not me. I thought we just used the surge. No, not yet. On your turn, you're using the surge to heal the surge. Anyhow, we'll get to that part. All right. So anyhow, so with, you hit me twice, you miss once, and you hit me once. So that is uh, two damage that you're doing to me. Did I take my damage yet? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, yes, I did. I took my two damage. Oh, screwed. That is screwed. And. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm totally lost here. Because that Corolla would. Oh, that, this is on your turn. I'm still, we're still on my turn. Yes. So now the, the Corolla attacked, and also the, the Terror Folk attacked you. First, because that's how come you got knocked down, correct? No, it was the, it was. There the, was still the gorilla. I haven't even done the other yeah, one. Yeah, so now you have to do him now. Yeah. The terror folk. Yeah. So the terror folk is yeah, going to attack, and it attacks. It, uh, so it's going to swoop down. It would attack you, but you're down already, so it can't attack you. So it just does nothing. Okay. Well, that makes sense because if if he knocked you down, and he just fly down and pick me up and drop me off somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Jurassic Park one. Sure. Okay, so anyhow, if we screwed this part up, please let us oh, know. Oh, we probably did. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, on my turn... Um, is that the villain phase done now? Yeah, that's oh, the villain okay. phase. Yep. So on my turn, I'm going to attack first. How many... HP does that uh, gorilla zombie have? Three. Three. And the terror doc, the terror folk has. Uh, see, I'm stunned. I can't move anyhow. So I can only attack. So. You have three that you have to fight off. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to fight out three. We need to do a monster. All right, so I've got to use my uh, swift strike. Attack one adjacent monster and attack one adjacent monster. It's only a plus four, but this is the only way I can maybe hit the two of them. So the first one I'm going to try to attack is the gorilla zombie. Seven plus four. Eleven, and his is twelve. Yeah, so I didn't touch him. Um, next. 
Nah, six plus four is ten. Nope. I didn't even touch that. And my uh, I can't move. I'm just remove this for it. That's it. Now it's on. I couldn't do an encounter, so uh, grab an encounter card. And it says, Hatred. Choose a monster you control. Monsters of that type activate twice this turn. If you control the monsters, draw again. So, this is such a freaking horrible thing. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs. Or you can go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in our bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, board game maniacs, be a maniac.